Speak Student. To Kill a Mockingbird. Alashma. My name's Scout, and anybody who doesn't like what I've got to say gets a fresh knuckle sandwich. I don't know why my dad decided to name me something lame like Jean Louise, but it was probably revenge against whoever named him Atticus. <laughs> I bet all the kids called him Garageicus in school. More like Basementicus. <laughs> He probably didn't pulverize them though, like I would. Atticus is more of a peacemaker. All right, guys, joke's over. Let's just all calm down. Which is great for him, but I wish he'd cut me a little more slack. Scout, you still got some chores left. It's not easy to avoid fights when your dad's a civil rights lawyer in the deep south. Hey, Atticus, where were you at the lynch mob last week? Things used to be pretty tame around here. Me and Jem, that's my brother, hung out a lot with our runty neighbor Dill. Seriously, does anybody have a normal name in this town? Anyway, we got up to a lot of awesome hijinks. We even got some sweet air rifles so we could shoot birds. <laughs> no mockingbirds, though. Apparently, they're the innocent angels of the bird world. We also did some poking around the Radley place. You've heard about the Radleys, right? Pretty weird family to begin with, but the best part is the gossip about Boo Radley, the cat-eating, dad-stabbing monster next door. He's one crazy dude. So Jem and Dill and I tried to bug him and get him to hang out with us. Ugh. Hmm. When I say it out loud, it doesn't sound like a great idea. But I like going by Boo's house because there was this magic tree that always had goodies in it. Sticks of gum, loose change. Oh, and also some soap dolls that looked like Jem and me. Okay, so that part was a little creepy. It was almost like some unseen person was watching our every move from the Radley house. <laughs> Crazy, right? So yeah, good times. Until my dad took a case defending Tom Robinson, a black man who was accused of raping a white lady. Everyone got pretty hot and bothered about it, throwing around the N-word and getting up all in my grill. This whole court thing was a huge drag for me and Jem, but Atticus had to do a lot of overtime and stuff. He even went to a jailhouse to catch up on some reading and got a visit from a bunch of dudes that were a few torches and pitchforks away from an angry mob. Luckily, dad has me to protect him. He's got to have some backup muscle, right? Now I just need to convince Aunt Alexandra of that. She keeps trying to get me to stop swearing and change out of my overalls. Who ever heard of a bodyguard in a dress? It's not that weird. Then there was the trial. That's when I realized my dad is a total superhero. He was all, this white lady was beaten up by a left-handed guy. What do you think about that, white lady's left-handed dad? Well, I don't think much of it, I could tell you that. Which is pretty smart, because Tom couldn't use his left hand at all, really. Eh, I still got my right one. In fact, the whole thing sounded like a pretty bogus story. But that didn't stop the jury from finding Tom guilty. Guilty! And then, he got shot trying to escape from prison. You guys are crazy! On the bright side, I won the starring role of Giant Ham in the school play. Bonus! The costume came in handy when the white lady's racist dad tried to stab me. But then crazy old Boo Radley saved the day, and the bad guy fell onto his knife, like an episode of America's Dumbest Criminals. At least, that's the official story. You want to know what I think? I think Boo killed that guy, but dad and the sheriff want to keep him safe from the paparazzi. I mean, the guy spent his whole life hiding. He's not really ready for some social networking. So, maybe we should leave Boo alone. He's like a mockingbird. He didn't really hurt anybody, or at least, nobody who didn't deserve it. So, in conclusion, we shouldn't shoot Boo Radley with air rifles. Moral quandary salt, don't you think? Well, I don't think much of it, I could tell you that.